Hi, and welcome back to the power shed. Uh, I just got my new and improved 300-watt uh, inverter boards in. Uh, they say these are the new ones, and most most of the, the vendors have these. Uh, they're using an SG3525 instead of the IR2153. There's things I like about the 2153. Uh, this, this particular chip has probably been around 40 years. It's an old one. But uh, it still works, and they probably use it because it only costs them a nickel, maybe. But there are some things I like about this and uh, others not. Uh, this doesn't have the uh, voltage regulator in it, and uh, we'll have to have an external, uh, you know, 12 or 13 volt zener uh, to uh, keep the power safe. Uh, I may or may not end up pulling this relay out of here. Uh, that's a problem for most of you. We can probably get away with just uh, adding a voltage divider. Uh, the inverting and non-inverting inputs, we basically want to make those opposite and then we can just feed right in with a, with a voltage divider from our capacitor bank. But uh, this is what it looks like. You have your inverting and non-inverting input. You have a convenient 5 volt reference and uh, so that the uh, voltage divider will now be based on 5 volts instead of 2.5 volts. Uh, you know, the oscillator is about the same, uh, but we're not shorting out the capacitor to turn it off this time. The board has a space for like a 12 volt voltage regulator, but uh, that doesn't buy you much because you're going to be coming in with, uh, you know, 60 or more volts, and uh, the regulators won't take that. They have this jumper out with just a diode uh, that's similar to the other one. The uh, FET drives are pretty much the same, 10K pull down and about 5 ohms going to the gate. Uh, I've talked to you before about uh, when you replace these FETs to uh, eliminate the center pin, just cut that off and uh, you know, heat up this trace, try and remove it. This is the tightest spacing I've seen. This, this is horrible. You know, I wouldn't want to use this, uh, you know, over 40 volts or so. Because it, it's, it, you need a magnifying glass to see the space between these two. It's, it's just bad board layout. But uh, you'll still need to replace these FETs. And like I say, it's, uh, You'll be pulling out this capacitor. If you get this capacitor out there, you can get in there with a nipper and cut the center. And rocking out the FET with, uh, you know, just two leads is pretty easy. And uh, this one actually has uh, spacing for uh, a larger size FET. So it has the dual holes. But uh, that's what it's going to be. Uh, you know, we'll have to see if you think it's easier or not. Uh, definitely, probably some uh, fewer parts that you'll have to have to buy for this. Uh, you know, I need about a week to uh, wire it up and uh, put it up for test, and uh, we'll see what happens then. But uh, that's it. I got these wood for five dollars and sixty-two cents each. Uh, so yeah. Just go for the cl for the cheapest possible, and hope for the best. Thanks for watching. See you again later.